Hi, my name is Biraj. I am the founder of Timechart Project Management Software. Today, let's discuss about PERT, Program Evaluation Review Technique. Working on certain projects, that means the duration can be decided. So what I actually mean is you have a Gantt chart going on and in each bar, we know what is the time frame, whether it's going to be three days, four days or seven days, whatever. So we are working with the certainty in a project. When we are talking about working with Gantt chart or critical path, so we know the duration. Now, in case of PERT, we are working with uncertainty. So basically, we don't know uh, what is the certain duration going to be. So it's, we are mostly working with guess. So when we are guessing, we have got three types of guess. One is optimistic. Then we have got pessimistic. And third one is most likely. So what it means? Optimistic is something we think that we can do at a much shorter time. So we always come up with a small number in optimistic. We think that yes, we can do this job in two days time. So we put let's say two for optimistic. Now pessimistic is something we are, uh, we are not very sure that we can do this in two days. What will be the maximum time you, we, we, we may be working on this particular task? So that's pessimistic for us. So let's say this is pessimistic is five days. Uh, and most likely something in between optimistic and pessimistic. So it's just kind of take an average between the two. So which means uh, which is most likely going to happen either either we are on optimistic or pessimistic. Uh, there should be something an average between the two. Say for example in this case the most likely number is three. So we have a situation where we are not sure about the duration of our bars of, of our task so we are going to work with a, an uncertain scenarios so when we are working in uncertain scenarios a manager a project manager also wants to know these uncertain scenarios whatever he is guessing with these numbers are going to be something that is realistically achievable in the project so how do how does he come up with whether he can achieve these numbers in the project or not so that's where let's presume in, in this particular case a project due date is supposed to be completed in 12 weeks time and we expect that to deliver in 11 weeks time. So, so that means we are not sure whether we can do this in 11 weeks or not. So we want to find the probability that we can deliver in 11 weeks time. So that's where PERT helps us to uh, derive the values. Now we want to come up with an estimated time. So that means we have to take the optimistic value, most likely value and pessimistic value and that's where we come up with an estimated time. So ideally if we have got three values, we should be actually doing optimistic plus most likely plus pessimistic value divided by three because there is three number. That's what a normal law of average works. But in this case, uh, what what, uh, what the formula does is we take optimistic as 1, pessimistic as 1, 1 and 1 is 2 and most likely we double up because that's what the most likely going to happen. So that means we come up with optimistic number plus 4 of most likely number plus pessimistic number and that all comes down to 6. So that's where we come up with estimated uh, time. So by working out this formula, we can see 2 plus 4 into 3 plus pessimistic is 4 divided by 6 and whatever the number that comes up with is our estimated value. And now let me go and plot all these numbers in this chart. So we have entered all the estimated value uh, for this particular project. Now considering we are estimating the value, we wanted to see what is the variance from the mean. So that means we would like to see each estimated value, what is the difference from the average number. So that's where we come up with a variance. So uh, how do we, how do we uh, 
create variance. So basically, variance is pessimistic value minus optimistic value, which is divided by 6 and this whole to the power of 2. So that means pessimistic, which is going to be our extreme number minus the optimistic, which is going to be our lowest number. So in this case, we will put a pessimistic of 4 minus optimistic of 2 divided by 6 and this to the power of 2 that comes up with the variance of 0.11. This is where we have plotted all the variance. In most of the cases, you will see the variance is uh, quite uh, similar because probably the difference between optimistic and pessimistic uh, values are almost same. But if you see in this particular case, we have got 0.44 variance. That's because we have got pessimistic number of 7 and then optimistic of 3. So the difference is bigger. So even the variance is also bigger. Uh, likewise, we have the next uh, extreme variance is 0.25. Uh, once we have the variance, then we wanted to build the, for once we have individual variances, now we wanted to see what is the overall project variance. So let's presume the uh, critical path in this particular case is A, C, E, uh, G and H. So this is a critical path. Now we plot the variance of all of this critical path in, uh, in we just combine them everything together so 0.11 plus 0.11 and we add up together and it comes up with the project variance of 0.89. Now we wanted to we wanted to come up uh, with a standard deviation so once we have the project variance now we wanted to build what is the standard deviations. So standard deviations is root of 0.89. So that means overall what is the deviations uh, that can be allowed in the project uh, uh, looking at these estimates and the variance all put together. Now the whole idea of PERT is uh, we wanted to find the probability of our expected value. So we wanted to see that if the due date is 12 weeks and expected to deliver in 11 weeks time. So we wanted to see what percentage we think we can deliver this project uh, in our expected value. So in order to do that, we have to uh, come up from the normal distribution table, which is called the Z value. Uh, so the Z value is due date minus expected date divided by the standard deviation value. So this will be 12 minus 11 divided by let's say this is 0.95. So whatever the number comes say for example this is now 1.06. So we will look into normal distribution table of 1.06. Let's presume this is now 85 percent. So what this means? It means there is a 85 percent chances that we can deliver this project as per our expected value, which also means there is a 15 percent chances that we cannot deliver as per our expected value. Uh, so this part is a topic which basically covers this uncertainty and uh, what is the probability of our expected number. I hope uh, I am able to make it clear about PERT and uh, if you would like to learn more about project management uh, topics, so visit us in timechart.com or you can follow us in YouTube. Thank you.